Oh, I blew past that one. Let's go back. So you see, since I blew past it, I can just switch my direction here, which is really nice. And then I just hit my throttle again. There you go, boy. That's it. You got it. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. Do it again. Yeah! It's been a little while since I made a video, but I wanted to do the new CN rail train. Oh, I actually grew up watching these things through the uh, across the field. Close to home for me, it makes me very excited to see this train. Oh, just the colors and everything. This literally brings me back to my childhood. And now I got a little boy here. <laughs> So we're gonna go through and just uh, show you what I've done with SimiCheck. So for me, as you know, SimiCheck, I'm all about kind of the immersion within the uh, simulator. So um, I set up three joysticks. You'll see when we get in the train how they all work. So let's just walk in the train. I also connected the walking movement just to here so I can, I can uh, walk ahead. So let me make sure no trains are coming. Okay, now I'm gonna walk. See, I can just, I did it so I can just use the joystick and click ahead. This is all using my SimuCheck Toolset Pro. You can check out my website. When we're at the base of the ladder, I map the E button to this button so I can literally walk up to the train, click the button, and then I feel like I'm climbing into the train. So now here we go. I'm going to go into the train. I'm going to walk in, click and sit down. So this works pretty well. Good. So now I'm in the cab. I'm going to flick the switches. Whoops. One, two, three. Okay, now I'll just click here. But as soon as I have this in, I can now use my joystick. Pull back and I can pull forward. Um, turn on the brakes with the mouse. The uh, brakes, it's too difficult to map it since there's no joystick API at all. So all I did is I just made it go back uh, reverse or forward on the brake, you know, so at least you can control the brake. It's too difficult to map the keyboard commands to control it without an API, and there's no API from uh, train simulator world at all. There's no API at all. Okay, so now you can see here, I also, what's also cool too is I map this button, I can click and leave my head out the window. Feel like you kind of put your head out the window, then you kind of get back in the cab. I mean, that's what we build train simulators for. You know, you want to feel like you're in the cab. The Thrustmaster here, which is an awesome, kind of feels very like a big throttle. The buttons I push, it goes on the outside, but then as soon as I release, it goes back in the cab. So I kind of like that because it kind of always makes you in the cab and you obviously you want to see the outside because it's freaking amazing. But then whenever you release, it always goes back in the cab again. And of course we got the horn. Here we go. Oh yeah, let's do it on the outside. Here. So let me put it back into the middle. Use the button to get up, and now I can use the full joystick, which is amazing, to walk around this train. Oh yeah, you really feel like you're in it now. This is amazing. You see, so I push the button to go up. I think I can sit down here now. Try this now. There we go. And we are rolling. So you can see it's really intuitive. So check out my website, simicheck.com. You can uh, download all the configs for this and you can, uh, you can get access to the, the application. And a lot more videos later. I just want to do a quick little video just to get this whole thing rolling.